Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm in a different space. So my background obviously looks different. I'm in my living room and I thought why not take the opportunity and film in front of my beautiful Christmas tree. So I hope you enjoy the new background. Today I want to swatch and review for you the new liquid eyeshadows from Lisa Eldridge. Obviously these have been specifically released around the holiday time, so they are very, very sparkly. They are beautiful, but just know that if you're looking for a cream eyeshadow for the purpose of wearing every single day, to be able to wear to work, I don't think these are going to work for you for everyday use. Let's have a look at the swatches first, and then we'll have a chat around this formulation. By the way, just a heads up, this cap is really, really sharp. My finger got stuck in here when I closed it and check it out. Yikes. Cap is very sharp and make sure your fingers and your skin is clear before closing the lid. Now I've got my bandit on. I did not realize this cap, this bottom room right here would be a health and safety risk. So watch out for that. This is a very flexible formula. And what I mean by that is that if you're someone who's a beginner to liquid eyeshadows or you're advanced, you will be able to use it. It is very, very user friendly. When you first apply it, either with a wand 
or just with your finger, you can very easily spread this formula out. So it's not a type of formula that the minute you apply, you're going to have a hard time spreading it out. You can spread it out. It's not as spreadable as your cream eyeshadows like from Tom Ford or Charlotte Tilbury. It's not spreadable quite to that degree, but it is still relatively spreadable. You can actually blend out this formula without having to really struggle. So I really enjoyed that. You can also shear them out or build them up. And I think that's a key strength with this formulation. Normally with formulas like these, it's quite hard to build them up. When you're applying layers and layers of formula on top of your eye, they can kind of crack and it's just, it's nothing like that. You can actually build multiple layers and this formula isn't going to crack. It's not going to look like a horrible mess on top of your eye. So it's, it's definitely a very flexible formulation. Blend it out with your finger. You can also blend it out with a brush. The way I love applying these is actually swiping it on just with the applicator and then patting it in with your finger, then using a brush to diffuse the edges. That's the easiest way that I've found to work with this formulation. What I love about patting it with your finger is that you're actually going to release the sparkle. And I think that's very interesting with this particular product. I haven't quite seen that in other formulations. Normally, if you've got a, a sparkly cream eyeshadow, you pat it in with your finger. I found that you can actually take away from the sparkle, like it dulls down the sparkle a little bit and you're left with a little bit more of that base rather than the shimmer. However, with this, it's the exact opposite. When you swipe it on, you will see a bit more of a, a metallic shine. And then when you go in and actually pat it in with your finger, you will release the sparkle. The sparkle just comes to life. And I love that. I think that's amazing. So if you are planning on buying these, I highly recommend to actually take your fingertip and just pat it all over your eye and see that beautiful sparkly effect. Now let's talk about longevity. I was pretty impressed with this. It lasted all day on me. I think I only saw creasing at about the seven hour mark. Now, I don't particularly have hooded eyelids, nor do I have oily eyelids. So if you are in those categories, you might see creasing a lot earlier on than I did. I've been able to wear these kind of on a bare eye as well as on top of concealer and primer no issues in terms of longevity. I think they last fantastic on the lids. If you are prone to oiliness or if you have hooded eyes, of course use an eye primer and that way they won't crease so quickly on you. But I do think they will crease a little bit if you are someone with hooded eyes or with very oily eyelids. But they're not really a, a very emollient formulation, so I think you'll be okay. So I'm quite happy with the longevity. I feel like if I was to go clubbing, I would wear these because I know they will stay sparkly and stay beautiful on the lids all night long. I won't really have to worry about it. They also work with each other relatively well. So. For example, if you've got your base color on and you just wanted to kind of maybe smoke out a little bit on the outer V or just apply at the lash line a different color, you can do that. So again, with those multiple layers, especially with layers that have dried in between, it's not going to affect the performance of this product. It still works really well. I've also tested them with powder eyeshadows. For example, for this eye look, what I've done is I've used a powder eyeshadow and done a bit of a halo eye. So just like a, a dark gray charcoal shade, I've added that in the outer, outer wee as well as the inner corner, kind of just smoked it out a little bit and then popped the shade Liza all over the lid. And that's the, the beautiful, really smoky, sparkly effect that it's given me and I love it. This plays beautifully with powder eyeshadows, whether you layer them underneath or you layer them right on top. I've also done looks where I've applied like a lighter shade, for example, Angelica or Bianca, and then I've taken a deep brown matte eyeshadow and I've just smoked out the outer V or used a bit of a transition shade just in the crease area. This did not flake off, this did not move. All these powder eyeshadows just applied beautifully on top. So this formulation definitely plays really well with your other eyeshadows and I was really happy to see that. So I'm actually really impressed. I have been loving these. Lisa Eldridge just knocked it out of the park. It's perfect. 
The cons aren't a lot, to be honest. The, I, you know, the only cons are, in my opinion, is that they are not for every day. So they're not gonna be like my other cream eyeshadows that I'm very fond of. You know, I, I can't wear these to work, but absolutely for nighttime, going out, you know, you can rock these any time of the year. The other drawback, I think, is the color selection. I wish there were some beautiful, rich browns. Like imagine a rich brown with like a gold and a bronze shimmer reflex through it, or a beautiful deep forest green with the olive green reflex through it. Like, oh my God, maybe some purples, oh, a beautiful violet. You know what I mean? So those two, I would say those two are really the only two drawbacks that I see from this collection. By the way, the foundation review for Lisa Elridge is coming, so hold off on that. It is absolutely coming. Uh, I'm still in the process of fully testing it out. I, I think you may want to see it, so don't buy the foundation yet. Wait for my video. These are more similar to the Stila Shimmer and Glow and Glitter and Glow eyeshadows. The Stila Glitter and Glow, I really don't like because they are very like chunky shimmer. So if you're someone who likes the concept of the Stila Glitter and Glow, but you don't like that very chunky sparkle, then I think you will really enjoy these because yes, they sparkle, but it's more of a sophisticated sparkle. It's not a very chunky sparkle. So I most definitely prefer these over the Stila Glitter and Glow. Now they do differ from the Stila Shimmer and Glow because the Shimmer and Glow formula has more of a, uh, a very fine shimmer formulation. They're still quite sparkly on the eye, but not as sparkly as these. The drying time between the two is quite similar as well. I feel like the Stiller and the Lisa Eldridge both dry around about the same time for me. So you still have to be quick with both of these. With Stila, the layering can be a bit difficult. You don't wanna to layer too much of the Stila. Whereas with the Lisa Eldridge, you can absolutely layer quite a bit. Let me know in the comment section below, what do you think of this formula? Will you be buying it? And I will see you guys in my next video. See ya.